Hi, Michigan State Senator Patrick Kolbeck, and I'm joined here by Dafton Takover, who's an attorney and also with an organization called We Are the Evidence. And we're going to talk about 5G technology today. And, uh, and first and foremost, you know, what is 5G technology? Uh, 5G technology is supposed, it's basically the infrastructure that's supposed to support the Internet of Things. So while 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G are all technologies that were supposed to connect people. So that's not like our cell phones, when yeah, we see so a 3G connected, connectivity, right. a 4G, 4G connectivity. Exactly. The, the G stands for generation. Yep. 5G generation is a whole different concept. Uh, we don't have anything more to, to do in order to connect people. Now we're going to connect things. So the 5G creates the infrastructure for the Internet of Things. So our laundry machine will talk to our uh, dryer, to our cell phone. Uh, they want to put like an uh, conversation. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and uh, they want to put uh, antennas in our baby's diaper, so they will tell the, the mother when the baby pooped. Um, uh, same with baby's bottles. So everything will connect to everything. Now, the important thing to know about it, it's like, uh, unfortunately, now when they're going to, uh, in order to support this yeah. uh, Internet of Things, basically we'll have to have antennas in every appliance and everything in our homes, in our yeah. environment, and um, and in order, um, and then we're going to transmit all this information. And for that, we need a lot of antenna because there's so much wireless transmission that we'll need a huge infrastructure of antennas. So, is there any adverse health impact with right. all these antennas? So, is that something um, like cell towers, we have those up already. Right. Are there adverse health impacts associated with that? Yeah, well, uh, there's, unlike what the public is being told, that there's no evidence that wireless technology and this radiation, it's called micro radiation, is harmful. There's about 10,000 studies showing that this radiation is extremely harmful to every system and organ in our body. And uh, right now, uh, last month, there was came the final report of the biggest study that were done by the US government on this. It's called the NTP study, which showed that this radiation is causing cancer and it's also causing DNA damage, which can lead to many conditions. So how but, does that relate to 5G standards? So then? first of all, it shows that essentially this radiation is extremely harmful. It can break the DNA. The DNA damage is the ultimate damage. So uh, it makes no sense to me how is it that we're going to force this radiation on people in cell towers. Basically 5G, because it will require a massive infrastructure, we're going to have a cell tower antenna almost in front of every home oh, in wow. the US. and and. So most Moving people forward, would move have, near a cell tower if they right, can avoid it. Right, and right now they right? actually now bring in, they're choice. going to put in them, and they already started deploying them. Uh, um, they're putting on, on electric poles, they're putting on the light bulbs, so people go to work, come back, and there's a cell tower in front of their home. Now they tell them, oh, it's small cell. Those small cell, uh, are, they're not so small in many cases, but they are a, uh, it's not a the size powerful, that it's the density exactly, of power it's density. powerful microwave transmission. So if people do not put their family, one do, would not want to stand in front of their microwave oven, right. essentially now they have a, a powerful microwave oven transmitter in front so of their home, out in, the in front of their children. No, the height is very low, so it's, like, it's essentially right now in the height of their uh, children's second floor bedroom. So and there are the concerns we had with cell towers are essentially put on steroids with these 5G deployments. Correct, and it's going to be everywhere and anywhere. And the problem is that the, what the in wireless industry is doing, um, they are aggressively pushing legislation in every level, on the municipality level, on the state level, on the federal level, that will take every right we have to object this infrastructure. Basically, they're taking uh, the power to our public rights of way and yep. take every ability to object this infrastructure. We have legislation like that right now in Michigan. It's right. called Senate Bill 637. I opposed it, it's, but it still passed. It's gone over into the House. So. I want to say something. Like, yeah. It's like I've been I've been uh, lobbying on this issue uh, <clears throat> across the country, and it's pretty shocking because I've been talking to state legislators who have no idea what they're voting for. They don't even read those yeah. bills, and they're voting for them. They don't know what five G is. They don't know what microwave radiation is. They don't well, this know doesn't even, in fairness, they doesn't even say five G in there. All right, it does is do a small cell. Right. It's a local preemption. Right. It says just like the feds did to the state government, saying you can't put in any laws that prohibit the placement of a cell tower right. in the, in the uh, 1996 Telecom Act in Section 704 or whatever, just right. like they've got that in there. Essentially, this is now saying the state can't, uh, the local units of government can't put up local ordinances to go off and protect a right. community from so this. So while the federal government prohibit discussions of health effects, so if you if they want to put a cell tower in front of your home, yep. you cannot go say, oh, there are 10,000 studies that show that it's, it's harmful and yep. say stop this tower. It's actually uh, illegal to do it under yep. Section 704. Now they're taking every other right we have to object this infrastructure. 
And um, so this is hitting a lot of different constitutional rock. rights. Right. This is hitting right. Uh. And and the way the industry is selling it. So um, you know, people get an email. I mean, uh, from from AT and T or from Verizon saying. Hey, uh, please contact your state senator and tell them that they support 5G. This is going to reduce your download speeds from eight seconds to four seconds. Yeah. However, yeah. really, I mean, that infrastructure for 5G is costing somewhere between 200 to 300 billion dollars. So clearly, reducing the download speed from eight seconds to four seconds does not explain how they're going to pay back. Well, it does that, allow you to download all these adverse health well, impact studies right. much quicker. I so. wish they could. <laughs> but the thing is, what they do with that is. The real, uh, the real incentive behind 5G is the data. Yeah. So the way the WASP industry so is going to pay, privacy right. information. So they're going to take the data. They basically, by having antennas in every appliance, they know exactly what we do, how we do every second, and they're going to sell this data. And that is 11 trillion dollar industry, uh, 11 trillion dollar industry per year. And that's yep. a report by McKinsey. And we all know about what happens with Google right now. We know what's going on with right. Facebook right now with their access to user right. data. Now this is essentially this another is industry all about the data. trying to get that data in there as well right. because I'm an engineer. I, I also know that the more information you have about a system, the more you're able to control it more effectively. Right. And that's what they're trying to do is it's all about the data. Nice and as a, there was a nice program where they say, you know, this 5G infrastructure, what it does is basically we are becoming the product. No longer we buy the yeah. product, we are the product. Yeah. They want our information, they're going to sell it, and that's how they're going to make money. Yeah, and believe me, I'm in political campaigns. I see how that happens all across the board. I understand exactly how this is used, and I was actually with companies that were pursuing that early on. So this is something that is very concerning where it, it, the direction that it's heading because it is about now it's gone well beyond going off and trying to find a product that matches what the consumer desires. Yeah, right. It's actually going off and promoting and tuning the consumer to the need so that they create this pent up demand for right. that product or service. And it's getting into some very dangerous yeah. territory. So. And I think that, uh, I mean, what I do right now is I'm trying to go to communities and awaken them because people need to be awakened. They need to be awakened to the health effect. They need to awaken yeah. that their privacy is being violated by these companies. They need to be awakened that the huge, I mean, some people are concerned about, you know, energy use. Uh, wireless technology actually is, is, is a huge, uh, uh, it's, it's probably the one of the highest, uh, uh, so, uh, energy. Um, it uses a lot of power. Yeah, and power, and often, power right. And, and it's kind of a constant transmission that's and going exactly. on. Exactly. So it's, we have to object this. We have to, our communities need to stand up and say stop. We need to keep the, our public rights to a public rights of way. We cannot give that power away and we should tell our legislator do not give our public rights of way, definitely not to agree to industry. So the steps that we can take is necessarily, first of all, is awareness. So understand right. this issue and you can go to wearetheevidence.org as and part of And there is a, right, and there's a wonderful website that discusses all the various issues associated with 5G. It's called whatis5g.info. Okay. And it, it's, it's a wonderful website. It has all the information about 5G on the if, different aspects and there's also what actions can you take within yep. your local or fed on, on a local and federal level to help this effort to stop this. Uh, so at the state level, I want to make sure everybody understands, there's a Senate Bill 637 that's over in the Michigan House right now. Encourage your legislator to say no to that. And then also at the federal level, we've got to go off and change this 1996 Telecom Act and actually make sure that we've got standards that are defined that actually protect the health concerns of right. our citizens. And if I may say, I mean, in terms of 5G, I think everyone should go to uh, uh, yep. Senator Kolbeck's uh, yeah. YouTube channel because yeah. uh, you gave an, uh, a wonderful speech uh, objecting that legislation. Um, and I think that speech is, is important to view and understand the extent of the harms and why we should object 5G legislation. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate your advocacy. I appreciate you kind of serving as that mind canary and make sure, guys, this is what's happening out here. It's, this isn't just impacting one or two people or 20 people. Uh, we have 10 million citizens in the state of Michigan. It's impacting every single right. one of them because wireless uh, transmissions are ubiquitous now throughout the state. Right. So thank um, you for getting out you know, ahead I just of this. Say it's, it's like, you know, it, you in Michigan had this big issue with Flint. 
Yeah. Um, and that was a huge eye cry. But what happened in Flint is tiny compared to what's going on right now with Israel's wildlife radiation. Right. With all the health effects of the water power in Flint, this is nothing compared to the health effect that we are experiencing now from wildlife technology radiation with different sickness, micro sickness, cancers, ADD, autism, etc. So we all need to be awakened and take a very strong stand to stop this uh, misinformation to the public regarding the health effects of wireless technology radiation. Well, you're doing a great job getting the information out to the people. And uh, for anybody who's interested in more information, you can go to morninginmichigan.com or wearetheevidence.org, and we'll try to get the ball rolling on this. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you very much, Doctor.